came out to grab some afternoon sun. I've been listening to uh, a few videos from a few experts around the world again. Generally not the mainstream stuff. And of course, even here in Australia, where we've only had 103 deaths, there's so much fear about a second wave. So the protests in Melbourne a few weeks ago, Melbourne's now had double digits for eight days straight. And <laughs> it's amazing, media are uh, obviously making this out to be massive, massive, massive. We've had our first death in like a month, so we're up to 103. Which, you know, just sort of interesting. And uh, I mean, I'm looking at people on, you know, when you think about how many deaths there's been around the world this year and a normal bad flu season can be up to around 660,000 deaths in a season. So I know it's horrible and I know, you know, they've now worked out, as suspected the last six months, that it is a man-made virus and it's uh, been manipulated by, you know, Dr. Fauci, the Ga Gates Foundation, both of whom said three years ago that if anything was going to kill the world, it was going to be something like a coronavirus that will kill up to 33 million people. And of course, everyone's just listening to the dialogue and bizarrely enough, I'm stunned because everything, everything since the start of it uh, has been pointing towards the fact that if you've got good vitamin D levels, vitamin A levels, zinc and C in your system, as a general rule, you're going to be fine. There's over 200 studies now done around the world with, yeah, a lot of small cohorts and not peer-reviewed, but let's face it, the Lancet fucked up recently with their... Um, chloroquine study that was just a total bogus so the side of study that wants it to be wants everyone to be shut down they're pushing that they're pushing it they're saying the masks they're saying social distancing they're saying just all this bs the body can create antibodies the body can create t helper immune cells the body can for 99% of the population, the body can deal with this. Never before, think about this, never before in the history of humanity have un, uh, people with no symptoms been tested. So yeah, people are going, oh my God, we're up to 10 million worldwide or whatever the number is. I don't even know what it is now. I'm, I've just stopped looking, it's so stupid. The World Health Organization, we know this, the World Health Organization and CDC from different countries around the world are classing any death as coronavirus regardless of whether or not people are being, people are being proven to have it. It just feels so nuts. People just have to wake up, trust your body, grab some supplements, get out in the sunshine, go for walks, get fresh air eat sensibly, drink purified water, you know, just take care of your damn health. I just, I mean, you know, please look at non-mainstream media. Start looking at people like Del Bigtree. Start listening to people like Robert F. Kennedy Jr. Start looking up Dr. Dolores Carl. Start looking at people who are looking at this from another perspective, you know. It's silly putting aged people who are sick into aged care homes. That's caused thousands of death. It's silly not cleaning trams and buses and trains. You know, how much has that allowed this to spread? This is what they want. They want the fear. Don't allow the fear to take over. Trust your soul, trust your energy, trust your immune system. This is not the end. I'm only just starting to get an inkling of the amount of people out there who really don't want forced vaccination, who really don't want 
forced medication who really don't want to be locked up for the next two years. And what it, you know, they've been trying to make a coronavirus, well, no, they've been trying to make an RNA virus uh, vaccine for about 30 years. And every time they get to the human trials, they have to stop because there's too many side effects. Now, Gates and Fauci and all their Wuhan crew, they might have been working towards the vaccine for a few years without us knowing. Wouldn't surprise me since he, you know, um, patented the virus in, what, 2015, 2017, 2015, I think. So, you know, they've been playing with it for years already. I just don't want it to kill my mum. I don't want it to kill my stepdad. I've got unhealthy people in my family who just listen to the doctors and that's fine. Wait for the vaccine if that's your shtick. But hey, I think there's a bigger agenda here. I think you do too. And uh, we've just all got to look after each other. Sun's just going down over the trees. I know I'm near traffic, but it's just lovely. Mm. Mm. So take care, have a nice afternoon, see you soon.